The sales head of Boeing India had confirmed last month that the F-15EX configuration of US Air Force has also been offered to the Indian Air Force, and as per latest media report, the new offer also includes the AIM-260 missile and shield laser system, which are all set to start development tests in the next few months. And uh, the latest variant which US Air Force is buying with the India configuration is on offer to the Indian Air Force over here. France is developing the Rafale F-4 standard in two phases, F-4.1 standard with some F-4 functionalities, and F-4.2 standard with full F-4 functionalities. After the new Boeing offer, the French Ministry of Defense and Dassault Aviation are more likely to offer the Rafale F-4.1 standard fighters for the 114mm RCA fighter jet competition, as the French government had already offered 36 Rafale F-4 standard fighter jets during the visit of the top French advisor Emmanuel Bonn in January 2021. France had also announced yesterday that it has carried out compatibility tests of the Thales Scorpion helmet site with the parachute evacuation of a Rafale pilot, and this test campaign is part of the process of integrating this equipment on the Rafale F-4 standard. The CEO of BrahMos Aerospace had said last year that the company is planning to develop a BrahMos missile-based air-to-air variant with anti-OAX capability, but the Indian Air Force is not convinced that such a heavy and expensive cruise missile is needed for anti-OAX role, as the BrahMos air-to-air variant will be limited to 40 Su-30 fighters that have recently undergone fuselage modification at Hindustan Aeronautics. Meanwhile, the DRDO has already proposed an anti-OAX missile based on the SFDR technology known as Astra-X, that could see the development of a long-range air-to-air missile with a range of more than 350 km, and it can also be adapted for all fighter jets of the Indian Air Force. Due to easy availability of Python 5 missiles on the Spider surface-to-air missile system of the Indian Air Force, it was a natural choice for equipping them on fighter jets, but the Indian Air Force has now dropped the plan to equip the 20 km range Python 5 air-to-air missile on the 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet and medium-weight fighters, as the Israeli company Rafale Advanced Defense Systems has failed to correct the in-flight vibrations and the instability issues, which had appeared during during its carriage trials on the Tejas fighter jet. MBDA's advanced short-range air-to-air missile is known as the next-generation close combat missile in India, and it is now fast emerging as a Python 5 alternative for both Tejas fighter jet and medium-weight fighter, and it is almost clear that the Russian R-73 will be replaced by the 25 km range next-generation close combat missile, and the RDO's 50 km range Astra infrared variant. The U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin has said that India has not received the S-400 system yet, so the issue of possible American sanctions were not discussed during yesterday's meeting, but the U.S. certainly urges all its allies and partners to move away from Russian equipment to avoid any kind of acquisition that would trigger U.S. sanctions. India has already made the first payment of $800 million to Russia, and is all set to receive the first S-400 unit in October 2021. It is to be noted, that the US had imposed sanctions on Turkey and China, only after they received the S-400 system from Russia. ISRO Chief Dr. Keshavan has said, that after completing two joint missions in 2011 and 2013, the Indian and French space agencies have completed the feasibility study for the third joint satellite mission, which is a thermal infrared imaging satellite for high-resolution natural resource assessment, and are currently working towards finalizing and implementing arrangement for the joint development.